What's up everyone? Welcome to EDC Fanatics. If you are new here and interested in knives, EDC gear, and firearms that are of high quality but yet affordable, definitely hit the subscribe button so you will not miss weekly videos of unboxing, reviews, and testing of all kinds of EDC gear, knives, firearms, and everything of the sort. You will not want to miss it. All right, with that being said, let's get into the purpose of today's video. That being the Boker Plus Strike Drop Point Automatic Knife. We'll go ahead and give a check to the automatic action here. Oh, it's just this button, not ambidextrous, it's just this side. And you can see there, the action is really nice. It absolutely no complaints about the speed of it. The safety feature on it's really nice too. I'll show you certainly is not going to open with the safety on. The safety actually also will lock it open if you feel more comfortable with that while using it. But I'll close it one more time just because I'm so satisfying. Oh. All right, to get into some specs for the knife, the blade length is 3.25 inches, giving a total length of 7.875 inches which I think is a perfect size for like an everyday carry, just your, your normal pocket knife. Um, it fits in my hand perfect. Um, I'm about 5'9", it, just to give you a rough estimate if, if your hand's much bigger than mine or smaller than mine. Um, you can see how it fits in mine right there. Uh, if I go all the way up, I even have some spare room. So if, if your hands are bigger, you're, you're still gonna be in the clear for the shape of the handle. I really like this how deep it is to me, my hand grips it really, really well. Um, it also has its serrations here. Uh, these are really honestly kind of, they're wider. Uh, that actually, I really grip my thumb really well on this to cut stuff. I've had knives before where it's honestly, they're either not deep enough or there's no indention in the whole thing or it, they're just, there's really no point in even having these. It didn't help at all. But this one, I can say, it really does actually enhance your grip in using it for cutting stuff or whatever the case may be. Onto the material for the blade, it is D2 steel. So I, I honestly really like D2 steel knives. I, I really think they outdo it compared to the price. I, I would carry a D2 steel knife any day. Um, for the handle, it is also, um, stainless steel, that's a lot better. It beats a lot, any plastic, obviously. Um, for the blade type, this one in particular is Drop Point. Drop Point is my personal favorite. Um, but Boker, for the, for the plush strike, they do offer the dagger, or the tanto, or a serrated one. Um, I've never had the dagger one myself. I've seen a serrated one. It, I don't know the exact length of how far out it's serrated, but we all know what a serrated knife is. Um, I I definitely need to get a serrated one. I don't have that many serrated knives. I just like the, the drop point blade too much. So this one in particular, this is the green. Um, again, for the plus strike uh, drop point in particular, they have four colors. This is the only handle that three others are all black. Uh, and then they kind of have just a metal color blade, this color blade with a black handle, and they have one that's a black handle, it's a red blade. Um, that's a little out there for me. I personally, uh, this green is honestly out there for me. Uh, I would say almost all of my knives are just, uh, they're all just black, a standard black handle, black blade. Um, but all right, for the price, this is $64.95, guys, it, on Blade HQ at least. I, I know that's what it is. If you don't know what Blade HQ is, they're a huge website. I mean, just knives galore. I, I'll attach the link to this knife in the bottom just in case you're really interested in this one. But all right, just to kind of review how it's done over the past, for I've had it for about a year and a half. Um, really no complaints about it. The blade was sharp the day I got it, of course, and it is still sharp today. I have never had to sharpen the blade for anything that I use knives for um, in, on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's see, the, the handle has, has been solid. I, I mean, it's a stainless steel handle. What, what am I really gonna do to it, you know? Um, no, no complaints there. Um, the only the only thing I could see a real problem to some people would be if the automatic feature starts to wear out. 
but as I said at the very beginning of the review, I have no complaints on the automatic action. You can see this is a year and a half in. Uh, every time I carry this, I open it just for fun because I can't resist it and absolutely no difference from the day I got it so far. The locking action has never failed me. It has been great, so absolutely no complaints there. As far as hardware, nothing has ever been loose. Uh, no, I mean, I, I mean it, it is on there. There's still a lot of retention on the clip. The only thing I could say about the knife that is not, uh, it's not, you know, awesome it is honestly just the paint. It, you can see here, like you can see the metal color coming through the green. That is not how it is the day I got it. Um, you'll be able to tell if you look at this knife on the website, it looks like a darker green. So the paint on the handle had started wearing, honestly, like um, three months after I got it. Um, which is, I mean, it, it is what it is. You can really see here on the back, it is really scraped off really easy. And you can see up here is probably the worst where you just, you have the metal color. Um, obviously the paint scratching off does not hurt the performance of the knife, has nothing to do with the blade, obviously. It's just about how it looks. I, I personally, this thing does not take like a serious beating as far as how I wear it. It just goes into a pair of jeans almost every time. So I don't quite understand how there's so much um, paint coming off of the knife. But if that's something you really care about, if you want your knives to look um, really, really good as far as the colors you picked out, um, I guess, for example, if I did get that, the red blade and it, the red started fading away, I would not be too thrilled about that. But <clears throat> All, all in all, guys, it, it's a really good knife. As I said, it it's $64.95 to be exact on Blade HQ right now. For an automatic knife that's uh, D2 steel, the whole thing is metal, and it it's hold it holds its action really well, holds holds the blade really well. I, I really don't think you can go wrong for $65. Um, now, if you're just looking for kind of a Joe Schmo pocket knife that you could open a box with every once in a while, then sure, there are certainly cheaper options. You definitely don't need the automatic. You don't need D2 steel. I mean, you can go with stainless steel and I guarantee you 10 out of 10 times, it will have the capability of opening a box. But if you want something a little nicer, a little more flashy, I mean, I, as I already said, I can't resist to not, you know, press that automatic open. Really, really fun. Even if you're just looking for something to fidget with while you're bored, I guess. Um, but yeah, overall, I think for $65, this is well worth $65. Um, but yeah, it, besides the paint scratching, absolutely nothing wrong with this knife at all. But all right, with that being said, that will complete my review of the Boker Plus Strike drop, drop Point Automatic Knife, excuse me. If you feel I missed something, please let me know down in the comments. Um, this, this point of this channel is not for me just to act like I know every single thing there is to know about pocket knives. Um, I've carried one for years now. I've gotten a lot just because I really like them, um, as well as EDC gear. But the point of this uh, channel is for me to hopefully show stuff to some new people who are looking for a pocket knife. Maybe I simply just pr provide a review of someone who's considering buying one. Um, or maybe people, you know, you're just bored and looking for some cool content to watch. Um, but I hope I can learn something too. You know, there's definitely people out there that always know uh, more than me. I feel like um, everybody could say that. There's always somebody that knows more than they do. Um, but with that being said, like I said, please feel free to let me know in the comments anything you think. Uh, if you think it was a um, accurate review, if you've had one of these and you would say the performance is the same, I'd be happy to hear that. Um, also, if you know any other automatic knives that are um, remotely close to the $65 range that would strongly compete with this knife, I definitely We'll get that knife and review it for all you guys. I love competition. I love competition between companies and testing out all the products. All right. And with that, I will let you guys go. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.